H. Mason from UPW Capital. Please take note of the risk disclaimer. The truth exposes reasons why you are wasting hard earned money buying stock or forex courses. I will use a casino game called Roulette to give you a brand new perspective. If you look at the casino table, we have numbers 1 to 36. If you place a bet on this table, you can potentially earn 35x. If one chip is worth $100, you can potentially earn 3,500 Rand or $3,500. One X on this table could earn us 35 X, which is a fabulous return. Let's say we visit the casino on our first visit. We bet a maximum of $100 and we end up earning 3,000. I'm just going to write it as 3.5 K. Now at this moment in time, you can decide to walk away from the casino. Let us say we walk away from the casino. With this $3,500, you can pay some of your university fees. You can buy parts for your vehicle. You can furnish your home. You can do whatever you want to do, right? On the second visit, we bet a maximum of $100. And let's say we win $1,500 on roulette. Whoops. We go on our third visit, right? And we win. In our case, we're going to say $1K or $1,000. Now we got three out of three. We excited. We chuffed up. We so so happy because we can actually do things with this money, right? And what happens is you might be telling yourself, "Okay, but the person made three thousand five hundred dollars, or in essence, now we have six thousand dollars, which is made. Why is the person going to bet more or go to the casino again?" Well, let me tell you personally, if I win or if I had the opportunity to win $6,000, there's an element of greed with the human beings and we tend not to stop, right? I would definitely end up going to try and win more money. Now, what happens is on the fourth attempt, something happens, right? From the fourth to the tenth visit, The casino tends to take the money away and suddenly this person loses $10,000. So on the 4th to the 10th visit, the person gets emotional. He wants to win more money. He could have expenses. He could have debt. He invests more money than he can afford to lose. In the unfortunate case, the casino takes away 10000 now, 1 to 10 could actually be 1 to 100. Could be any amount of data samples. So this is, this is just an example. Now, in these three bets or three visits, we have a positive 6K. And over time, with more data samples, more visits, we have minus 10, right? Our total profit and loss for our casino visit for this particular individual is minus $4,000. We're also going to say this person never pay a cost and it's absolutely luck. Now with this minus $4,000, generally people don't end up calculating their total profit and loss during casino visits. They focus on the $3,500 that they made and maybe whatever they bought, they'll attach it and the motion to it. So they'll be like, okay, I went to the casino, I won $3,500 and I bought this and I bought that. So that's what happens on your first bet, on a few bets. It gives you the perception that there's an opportunity to win and you can do things with your money, right? And in trading, they use the exact same thing and I'm going to explain you how they do to manipulate people. And you've got to be so aware of this. Now, 
The saddest part here is majority of people don't look at their profit and loss over time and they don't know that the house is always winning. Now you might be asking, where's the proof? Now if you look at this financial statement from sogosun.com, the casino based in a casino group based in South Africa. Here we have results from 2000 all the way to 2023. In our case, I managed to open the reviewed condensed statements. And as you scroll, you can look at the income, the operating costs. All these money, or oh sorry, this revenue is in rands in million. So it's 5686 six. rands in million. That's 2021, right? Here you have year ended rands in million, 8938. So these are big figures and this casino is generating revenue as they should, right? Remember, the casino is not your friend, neither is the mentor your friend or the forex broker. They are all there to generate income one way or the other. Now, if you go down, one of the most important things, okay, here you can have a look. We have income, operating costs, EBITDA, net finance cost, excluding leases. It's giving you a lot of details, financial. Here it tells you the total income generated for 2022 financial year was 8.9 billion, up 7% compared to the prior year. Now, just reading this figures puts me in the state of being, wow, they're really making money, right? Now, what you need to understand is as you go and gamble, the more you gamble, the more opportunity the house has to win over you. And here you have some data to give you clues, right? So we're not making stuff up. So these financials are very strong and you can come and read it. Headline earnings achieved for the year was 1.15 billion compared to a 32 million headline loss, right? So they had a loss. Remember, there was COVID and people were not allowed to go to casinos. So definitely that would affect them. And here you have casinos and management, what they're doing. Now, the most important information or one of the most important things to bring to your attention is your Price Waterhouse Coopers information. They will audit the financial statements of this company or of the group of the companies, and they will determine if the company is producing what they say, or rather they will tell us if it's accurate, if they're truly profitable, if things are right in this company with respect to their financials. This is the most important information. And unfortunately, in the trading world, no one seems to be giving financial statements. All the marketing within the trading environment is driven towards live accounts, FX blue statements, my FX book. And you get media companies which write figures and they get the figures from their dreams or from their mentor of their networks. So what I'm trying to say is no financial statements means you basically buying a pie in the sky cost or you buying a pie in the sky signal. So be very careful. We need to have audited financial statements in the trading industry going forward. There's nothing else to clear the massive corruption, which is already available. Look at this, right? Auditors responsibility. They have a responsibility. And they have to meet or they meet international standard on review engagements. Come and have a look at this or go to the website and you're going to get this information. Let's look at the condensed income statement. Net gaming win, 779 rands per million. That's a lot of money, right? From, casino, from the casino. Then the financial statement is telling us they're not only making money from gambling, you also make money from food, rooms, revenue, other revenue, and other income, right? Now, if we could get this from each Forex mentor throughout the whole world, especially if they have public figures, or rather if they have public profiles, 
this would benefit us and give us clarity and an indication of who we exactly working with. Now, I strongly believe, like for this net gaming win, I strongly believe that 99% of the mentors that are online or on social media have a negative net gaming win. They generate their income from courses, signals, and other pro products or services rather than trading itself. And towards the end of the video, I'm going to give you more data to prove what I'm saying. Look at the income. Here we have 8938. And you have so much of information. Remember, it's in rands per million. Learning to read a financial statement is a very nice thing. Here you have operating profit 267. Six. Remember the brackets mean minus. You have finance income, finance costs. So if an individual decided to come and invest in this particular company, they've given the public all the financial statements, everything about the company and its progress, which is excellent. I mean, imagine if we could find the assets or know what the assets are of the mentor his property or her property, plant and equipment. I mean, they are having a public profile, so there should never be any problem with them providing a 10-year audited financial date statements so we know that if a potential client decides to go and buy this course, then he or she knows that they are working with incredible individuals who are verified. And this is the only way to know if your mentor is profitable Another thing I must tell you is, did you know that if you pay your newspaper about $250, you can actually get your article published in the newspaper? And this newspaper or the newspaper companies, media companies, whatever you want to call them, they don't use or they don't get financial statements of the mentor. It money talks. Now, this is insane information to share with you and it's it baffles my mind it confuses my mind as how is that even possible you can actually go to websites on google you type their forex mentor and include south africa for an instance and on these websites they'll give you net worths of forex mentors maybe 8 billion or 100 million or 50 million but on those websites not one of them have an audited financial statements over over their 10-year period or 15-year period. The period must be from when they started trading from day one. So if they started trading from 10-year-old or as a 10-year-old, then we need that statement from, from them being that 10-year-old. And unfortunately, it doesn't exist. You'll see some of the broker websites, they also use that as a way to generate clicks onto their websites and potentially lead to something else. So everything is a lead magnet, if you can say. It's sales, it's marketing, it's, it's very professional. You might think that these people don't have no intelligence, but they really do. They know exactly what they're doing. That is why misleading advertising is making people millions and millions of dollars and even rands too. Now, if we could get the current assets and the inventories and equity and, and liabilities of each mentor. It will give us clarity on their performance, their skills, their abilities. Then we know if we're really associating with someone that is talented in trading. We want to look at their financial statements or have their financial statements to know deep down we are working with individuals who are talented because the skill transfer is the most important thing. We buying a course or potential customers are buying a course to be able to extract as much skill from the mentor and become the best that we can be. That is why people choose mentors. And unfortunately, that does not exist in our world. And I'm going to give you the data, but hold on till the end of the video. You're going to see data that is going to blow your mind and no one's talking about it. They tend to tell you, okay, 90% are losing or 70% are losing, but they're not giving you the data. Look at this. This is the house. This is Sogo Group. The house always wins. The more people gamble, the more money this can be made with this firm, right? 
Now, what I've noticed online, I've seen someone on TikTok, they posted a SARS account or they showed themselves logging into an account and it had about 25 million. So immediately when I saw that, I was like, whoa, that's actually very misleading information because in a SARS account or in a tax account, we, SARS actually means South African Revenue Services. In a tax account or in a personal account, you can have a loan of 20 million rand. That is why you need an audited financial statement to tell you where the money is coming from. And further than that, after you get your audited financial statements, you as the individual, you need to analyze their broker statements to see what's their risk profile. Because you could be working with people who have bought on the uptrend of NASDAQ. And yes, they could have, let's use, for example, they could have a figure of, let's assume 8109, maybe in trading profits, right? But if you analyze their broker statements, you'll find out they were only buying on the bear market or they maybe they were only buying on the bull market. And we can assume that it is slightly easier to buy in those conditions, right? If you also analyze the broker statements, you may also find that the person may not be trading with stop losses. They could be risking the house, the wife, the husband, the kids. What that means is massive leverage and extremely high risk. And that type of profile is not, may not be applicable to everyone. That is why it's so important to know exactly what these Forex mentors are doing in this industry internationally, not only in South Africa. We need our community to come together and we need to enforce all public Forex traders or anyone involved in investing and crypto and whatever to provide audited financial statements. Remember, if they are selling signals, they must have FSP number. And if they are selling signals and they have their FSP number, they need to have audited financial statements to prove that their clients are profitable from their signals over a 10 year period minimum. We need to clean this industry completely. Otherwise, people are going to be continuously misled and they'll be buying pie in the sky courses, pie in the sky signals. We need to be associated with only professionals so professionals can be developed. That's what we're looking to target and nothing else. Now look at this total assets, 15780. I would love to see the Forex Mentors assets and how they're investing their money, how they're trading, what's the risk profile. So don't be afraid to request these documents from your mentor. You've got to be able to communicate. You've got to learn to communicate. Never fear. Here you have liabilities. Now, as I mentioned, you can have a tax account or SARS account, which has loans. It can be a loan from family. It can be a loan from bank. and it can reflect, in fact, you can take a loan account or money that is loaned and you place it in a live account and you might assume that the account is, let's just say 20 million rand, a live account showing 20 million. You may assume the trader made 20 million rand, but you find out that that is why you need audited financial statements. You may find that the money was loaned and hence misleading advertising. That is why please don't ever follow live accounts, FX Blue, my FX book, or anything from any newspaper or advertising online. It's all misleading advertising designed for them to generate revenue, to mislead the masses or mislead us as a community. And they have designed these funnels and the systems to make money off us by misleading the community. So be very careful of that. Okay. Now, if you go scroll lower, you're going to read much information. You also have the cash flows again, rands in million, profit before income tax. You have 1912. You can come and read this. You have finance income, 20 finance costs. So all the information is available. Look at this. You have casinos. Okay, it's a group, as I mentioned. 
you have 6388 in Gauteng, 3291 rands in million. Each group is generating its revenue, or rather each casino. They also have bingo and other groups and stuff. And there's so much information to come and read. Now, if you look at this other financial statement, this financial statement is probably made, or actually it is made by the company. In the company, you'll have auditors, you'll have accountants, you'll have a whole team. So they have also prepared their own document. As you can see, the preparation of this financial statement set out on pages 1 to 38 have been supervised by the chief financial officer, right? And here's his signature. And then you're going to get the same, or rather in terms of the amounts, the amounts must be the same, right? But then you have so much information. Again, you have your assets, you have everything. So you can come and read this. So what happens in the accounting world is when an individual or a company does their financial statements, an auditor will come, as I mentioned, PwC, they'll come and audit it and confirm that it's true. So you actually have two sets of financial statements. Now let us look at Forex trading. Let's assume you buy a cost and the cost is 500, $500. Now on trade one, you may make, sorry, you may convert 100, you may convert $100 into 10K. Now you're going to be excited, right? You're going to be happy, joyful. Now with this example, with your 10K, as compared the, to the 3.5K that we made in roulette, this 10K year, you can do whatever you want to do. You can upgrade your home a bit, you can buy food, you can pay for university fees, etc., etc. Now in this case, or in the Forex market, the house always wins, right? Now you're paying your $500, you may even tell yourself 10K minus the $500 means that I got my money back. But hold on. Trade two, right? It could be two trades. It could be 20 trades. So we're just using second attempt or second bet. $100, we can say we want to convert this into 5K. So now you're winning, right? You're telling yourself, hey, the mentor strategy works. Telling everyone on social media, you're showing them this, like, wow, SMC really works, smart money concepts. You're telling them about your Elliott waves and you're telling them about everything, double tops, double bottoms. You're boasting about your order blocks and liquidity. You start speaking about the banks and how the banks trade and you're telling everyone you know how the banks trade and you got proof now. Now this money, no, you're using it to actually mislead yourself because you're not understanding the environment of Forex trading or the Forex environment. You now telling yourself, hey, the mentor taught me and I'm making money. He gave me the $500 course or $500 signals or robot. Now you come to your third bet, third trade, $100 again, your maximum. Here we're going to say 1K. So you trade and you're making $1,000. Now your $100 converting to 10 k it's a very common marketing within the trading environment, right? But what I can tell you is that that's already gambling. If you're trying to convert $100 into 10 k that's going to happen in the moment. Yes, highly possible. You can convert small amounts into big amounts, into big amounts. Now over time, you need to understand that the house always wins. Like I showed you in the casino, the more people that trade, the more money someone else is making, right? And generally it's accepted that big banks are working into the forex market, the moving prices, that's generally accepted. You can read, read more about it and understand who are the market, big market players. So someone's making money here, right? Exactly on the same system like the casino. The forex market, the house always wins. The casino. The house always wins, right? 
you come on your fourth trade and you're excited, you're like, hey, soon I'll be driving that Ferrari like my mentor. Wow. Soon I'll be withdrawing one million from the bank and I'll be showing everybody. Now from your fourth to your 10 trade, you lose 20K. That's how it is, right? Markets change. Things change in the market. We don't control nothing, right? Your mentor controls bugger all. 10K, our three trades, you're quite chuffed. You're like, hey, I can even sell courses now. I know what I'm doing. Now, you, your P&L, you made 16K, right? I totally against converting 100 into 10K. That is gambling, but it's just for the example. I mean, the massive marketing that's available today is people are actually being shown misleading advertising. 100 to 10K, I mean, I would never advise anyone to try and even attempt that because it's, it, it only exists in the moment. When it's too good to be true, you've got to run away, right? So we made plus 16 in our 30 trades. It could be 30 trades. It can be 300 trades, right? And from our fourth trade to the 10th trade, could be 40 to 100 or whatever data points. We lose 20K. So in our case, we're going to cry. And we lost. Can be six months, a year, two years. We lose 4K and it's painful, right? But now you never only lose 4K. Don't forget to add the 500. You lost 4.5K. Now you're wondering what went wrong. You've probably seen the Ferrari, the Lamborghinis, 10 houses in 10 months. But somehow you paid for the things, you paid for the signals, you paid for the books, you paid for the robots. Over time, you, lo you lost not only $4,000, but $500 for buying this pie-in-the-sky cost or item. And you're asking yourself, you know, is it the market? Is it the concepts that I thought? What did I see? What got me involved into trading? Did they mislead me? How was I misled? What went wrong? And you're in total shock, right? But remember, you're also not at fault, right? Yes, whoever misled you must be dealt with by the law, right? But maybe the mentor didn't tell you about how the market really operates. Let me show you how the market really operates with some data. Now, if you look at this percentage of unprofitable traders from each broker or CFD provider, we have some big names here. We have FXCM. Now, this basically tells us the number of losing people during the year of 2022. Now, there are 19 brokers here, and if you summarize the average, or you get the average rather, it's about 70%. Look at this. FX Pro is telling you they have 84.43% of losers on their platform in 2022, right? Here you have FXTM right at the bottom. They're telling you 77%, right? This information, we cannot hide from it. These are facts. When I tell you the house is always winning, there's a reason why, and this is one of it, right? This is one of the data points which confirms that the house is already winning because this is coming from the brokers themselves. Everyone's trading on these brokers, right? Now you might be asking yourself, why is it so high? Why are so many people losing? And then if you go and you look at the trades that you've taken and if you understand the environment that you're involved in, Massive risk. No one can save you. No cost in the world can save you. That's what you must understand. Only you save you. Now, the only thing that's happening in our trading environment is misleading advertising. I can bet you none of your mentors gave you a plan, a written plan, right? How to get you in the top 5% or how to get you in the top 20%. Because let's face it, the marketing online is to try to get you onto these brokers as fast as possible, right? And to trade live as fast as possible. 
so that they can make revenue of you or to earn commissions. They don't care about your future, right? So be very careful. My best suggestion and recommendation is if you want to buy a course, gather pro, sorry, gather audited financial statements, and then you can make powerful decisions. And then you know for the fact that if you had to fail, you are solely responsible for that because you view the audited financial statements. This individual or this company, they're performing so well. Then you would know that, you know, you've got to really look within yourself. But if you've been misled and stuff, and unfortunately, you also have to blame yourself. But don't be too hard because a lot of people are losing, right? And the objective is for you to work with professionals so you can be in the top 10%. So please, audited financial statements list every one of us in the trading environment. Let us start asking for audited financial statements. Let's ask our governments to enforce laws that push people to only have audited financial statements. Then they can have a public profile on the trading. If not, then it's illegal for them to be on social media. And also, they need to be trained how to market because they are choosing consistently to mislead the community in order to generate revenue. I can bet you a lot of money, majority of your mentors, irrespective of what they're driving, irrespective if they told you got 10 houses in 10 months or 10 weeks or whatever, majority of them are in the blue. They also stuck in the blue. This affects everyone. You can be a hedge fund, you can be whoever you think you are. It's a big problem, right? Or rather, it's a big challenge. With that mentioned, I can't save you. No mentor can save you. No broker can save you. No one can save you. You have to go and create your own path and save yourself, right? Those are the facts that I'll give you. Now, if you remember I mentioned financial statements, if your mentor is so good in his trading, in his or her trading, they'll have financial statements which prove their earnings, right? Ten-year ten -year period is excellent. If you're buying signals, they'll also have a, they must have an audited financial statement to prove that their signals are working and the managing to beat the market to say. And your mentor needs to give you a plan because if your mentor doesn't have a plan how to get you into the 10%, then you're actually heading for disaster. And that is why I'm saying, please stay away from courses. You're buying a pie in the sky product. You don't need to have a cost to be involved in this environment because you can still lose with, with the cost. That's what I'm trying to show you. The people who are learning SMC and bank theory and this theory and that theory, they are the ones here in the blue also, right? They could have done courses and stock courses which with any organization in the world, but still they, in the blue, some of them, not all of them, right? The, the ones who are in the 10% are the ones who are probably hidden. We don't know who they are. They are the ones who are keeping the information away from us and they know exactly what, what to do in this environment, right? So please be very careful. You need to have an audited financial statement of, of the performance of your mentor before you buy his course. Otherwise, please stay away from all of them. Make sure they have an FSP number, which means they're regulated by the conduct, Financial Conduct Authority. And on their website or of the Financial Conduct Authority, irrespective of which part of the world you're from, they'll have their information there and then you can get involved with professionals. It's safer to work with individuals because we have the FSP number. The FSP number carries a lot of weight. They are responsible. You can actually take legal action against them if they're carrying an FSP number and they're not doing what they promised or they're not doing what they're supposed to do with, with the client, right? So it's a good safety factor. Please don't take signals with your neighbor and everyone around you or someone you saw in the newspaper. Stay away from the newspapers too. Now, this information is very sad information because I know like on YouTube and different platforms, they market smart money concepts. 
some people claim they founded it and they know exactly how the banks trade and they work from hedge funds and stuff. But even with that information, people are still losing. So if I had to tell you, I am the founder of Smart Money Concepts and I know exactly how the banks trade, I need to give you a financial statement to prove my statements, right? First of all, I need to give you trademarks to prove that I am the founder of the so-called theory. Then I also need to give you audited financial statements. If I'm trading for 20 years, 30 years, 10 years, I need to give you data to prove like, hey, what I'm using is very real. Then I also need to give you broker statements and then you have to apply your own due diligence and make sure everything is right. You are responsible. So we need to change the whole environment. We've got to come together and work together. There's massive cor corruption in the Forex industry and it comes in the form of misleading advertising. And remember, misleading advertising leads to being potentially scammed, which is the saddest part. So we've come to the end of the video. Until the next video, goodbye.